where is Ian? He's supposed to be here. We're supposed to shoot a listing video and I cannot find him. I'll have to call him. Oh my God, that is amazing. What the? I was eating the most amazing cookie. Tiny, tiny you, cookies. Did you bring me one? No, no, but okay. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Picture this, you're taking a morning stroll through the tree-lined streets of a central Austin neighborhood that dates back to the mid 1900s. And as you walk by a mix of old bungalows and newly built homes, suddenly you stop. There it is, the home you've been waiting for. We are excited to share our newest listing with you today, 1911 West 39th Street. It is in the heart of Central Austin. What's up guys, I'm Lindsay Fenton. And I'm Ian Grossman, and we are the Fenton Grossman Group. We are so excited to share this charming two-story home. It was originally built in the 1930s, recently remodeled. It's got three beds, two and a half baths, around 1,700 square feet. Can't wait to show it to you. All right, before we take a look inside the home, we wanna give you a little bit of an idea of where this home is located. So we mentioned that the Oakmont Heights neighborhood dated back to the 1930s, but where is this neighborhood? Well, it's just east of Mopac, north of 35th Street. It's surrounded by some of Austin's most prestigious sought after neighborhoods, such as Bryker Woods, Rosedale, Terrytown, and Allendale, to name a few. If you're looking for something convenient to downtown, look no further, this house is perfect. You're about a six minute drive to downtown. This home is conveniently located to much of Central Austin's medical community and UT. So we are seeing a lot of professionals and medical professionals land in this area. If you have little kids, you'll love to hear that the nearby Bryker Woods Elementary School scores a nine out of 10 on greatschools.org. Now, Lindsay mentioned UT professors, medical professionals, but let's not limit who would love to live in this location. If you're a foodie, you're gonna be blown away by the endless options all around this home. We are a stone's throw away to the newest live work play development in Austin, The Grove. They just opened a Carve American Grill. Don't sleep on those New York Strip Friday specials. Uchiko is right nearby. Tiny Boxwoods and Tiny's Cookies. T Loke Sonoran Hot Dogs, Burnett Road, so many options. If you wanna to go to Austin FC, The Domain, if you wanna to go to downtown, only a few minute drive. Let's head back in so we can show you our favorite features. So as soon as you walk through the front door, you feel the charm of this house. From the wood floors to the crown molding, the open floor plan gives a great flow. From the living room to the dining area and then into the kitchen. So a couple of my favorite features of this kitchen, of course, the marble countertops, with a bar top where you can fit a couple stools. We've got stainless steel appliances, the gas range, and one of the biggest issues with homes of this age is storage, lack of storage. This home actually has two separate pantries and its own laundry room. As you walk into the primary bedroom, you can feel how spacious this room is. You have a king size bed, you have two nightstands plus additional room on either side. You have tons of space for a dresser, TV stand, whatever you would like. It's very light, very airy. For a home this age to have a primary bedroom this size is really rare, so this is an awesome space. Now it's time to check out the primary bathroom. So one of my favorite features is this huge dual vanity. You have marble top, plenty of room to get ready, and tons of storage underneath, which again, in these homes is really rare. I also love this shower because you have this frameless shower glass door. You have dual shower heads and the subway tile goes all the way up to the ceiling, which I absolutely love. And of course, one of my ultimate favorite features of this house is the size of this closet. So on the first level, there's also a powder bath, which wraps up the downstairs. Upstairs, you're gonna find two more bedrooms connected by a bathroom. All right, if you love to entertain, wait till you see the backyard. So as soon as you walk out, 
got a covered patio, great to throw a grill under there, maybe even a smoker. There are so many trees around here, which it's winter right now, they're dormant, but they provide great greenery. It gives this backyard a lush, lush feel. We've got a one and a half car garage. And of course, we've got this lounge area. This is one of my favorite spots, this turfed area. Throw some Adirondack chairs, maybe put a fire pit in the middle. And if I'm envisioning the perfect night, it includes eating dinner in the screened in sun porch. So what'd you think? Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on this Oakmont Heights Charmer. If you have any questions or want to schedule a showing, reach out to us at the number below. Catch you on the next one.